Howdy folks, TBiz again. We're gonna check out some more G.I. Joe Classified series. We got Duke right here, Mighty Duke. Um, I had this figure back in the day. I think my Duke, when I was a kid, was a mail away figure, I believe. If I'm not mistaken, it was a mail away figure. But yeah, we're gonna have to check this figure out for sure. Once again, you got this ridiculous, awesome picture in the back with a lot of vehicles, a lot of other figures. Um, some are gonna come out in October. Some may be out next year, who knows? I don't know, maybe Christmas time, because I see the Alley Viper. It's Alley Viper, right, if I'm not mistaken? Up top, around here. It's got, yeah, cause it's got the shield and stuff. But anyways, um, if you look closer, if I get that on cam, but yeah, right there. Yeah, dude, so yeah. A lot of vehicles. His tanks, looks like there's a Rattler in there somewhere, maybe, it's like, yeah, it's a lot. So if they make those, that's, pretty big vehicles I'm, i must say that'd be pretty huge but um i'm gonna go ahead and rip this guy out and we're gonna check him out oh yeah and i forgot to add uh, the side of the uh, panel of the packaging is a little different on this one it's not so much in like a little montage like we have for scarlet but it, it's um like kind of like a comic bookie there's a little scene with uh duke punching out cobra commander and him just standing right there being cool and looking all not pensive but just kind of just dukish just like i'm cool i'm tough and i'm awesome I'm blonde but anyways let's dip in and here we have our duke awesome figure i must say and awesome selection of weapons and accessories got a laser rifle which is pretty nifty i think it's cool comes with the, like an homage to the old one you got the comes with some binoculars some kind of like a little almost like a Luke Skywalker's little binox or whatever, but yeah, that's pretty cool. Got his backpack with this chubble that he chubs, but I don't see a hole to, or there's gotta be a place somewhere because like Hive Toids pointed out on um, Instagram, there's a little, there's a home for every weapon. So there's a pistol right there and yeah, here's Duke himself. Face sculpts on these are amazing. There's a little bit of a scar right there. Almost looks like my buddy Thomas Forsythe, who is uh, actually a Marine that works on parade duties and funeral duties in uh, in the good old uh, Washington area. So it's awesome. Shout out to him. Good brother. I haven't heard from him in a long time, but yeah. But once again, your standard articulations. Forgot to point out on Scarlet, she's got like a... Um, not so much a, um, he's got pretty much a hinge, but she's got more of the buster out in a second. I don't know where I put her, but yeah, she's right there. But, um, yeah, these guys got some sick articulation. It's pretty much a Marvel legend, pretty much, since it's Hasbro. But, um, you got all kinds of, yeah, the calf cuts, everything. It's, it's pretty good. Oh yeah, here's where your binoculars can go. So that's cool. He's doing some reconnaissance. It's a holster for his pistol. Nice olive green, army olive. But yeah, once again, oh. Yeah, really, just, I don't know, just really good detail. And we can get his backpack on in a second. And that fits pretty decently, not bad. But yeah, hair sculpt is cool too. Nice high and tight and clean. And then here's his, um, here's his laser rifle. But yeah, nonetheless, an awesome figure. And they they spared uh, nothing's detail. Like there's just this cool wristwatch. Just oh man, he's got like another little kind of bracelet around on his. Whoop, sorry. Right there, if you can see it. But yeah, really. Just really good, good figure.
yeah, I, I like these. Yeah, I, I knew I was gonna get into these when they came out, but or when they were getting ready to release them and stuff, or just seeing pics and stuff. But now that they're really finally have them in hand, yeah, these are cool. I'm not gonna lie, these are cool. These are awesome. I would have freaked out as a kid over these for sure. Because these are just a lot bigger. And um, yeah, I don't. too bad I don't have a vintage um, Duke to compare them to. But if anybody wants to, feel free to send me one. <laughs> I'm kidding. But yeah, but like, oh, I was going to say about Scarlet. Yeah, she doesn't have that hinge, so to speak. She's got more of like a, yeah, there's like a ball joint in there. But she's a little weird, too, because she can't do a full split. You know, she kind of can. But anyways, it's not about Scarlet, even though it's a pretty rad figure. Not bad at all. But, um, yeah, this guy's amazing. Once again, I don't know if the sale's still going on on GameStop.com, but uh, go to GameStop because I got all these for $18 and some change. I only paid less than $60 for three figures, so it was a really good deal. I'll ship to my home in just a couple, if not a few days. Just really amazing. Really amazing detail. But yeah, I love these figures. Just awesome. Whew. Can't wait for more. Really can't. It's gonna be it's gonna be neat. I um I, I would like to know who what your wish list would be. Mine would be the, definitely Zartan for sure. Um I'd like to see Big Boa, maybe Croc Master. I know it's kind of going further down the the path, but you know, beyond the first wave and stuff like that or first two waves spirit would be cool um a lot there's a lot of characters i'd like to see i'm stoked we're gonna get chuckles because um i'm gonna have to tell my buddy overlord and i gotta give a shout out to his dad too mr brian mr brian told me about this sale on gamestop.com if i hadn't known about it i probably wouldn't have picked them up i probably would have ended up because they, they like to make jokes because they know sometimes when i like to review toys or just get them because they're kind of hard to find around here sometimes there's a lot of collectors in Austin that I overpay a lot for stuff and <laughs> they're like making fun of me because finally once I didn't I felt weird because I didn't have to overpay for these <laughs> because they were super super cheap and they're sick they're awesome I still don't care about Marvel Legends but these are rad forget Marvel Legends these are cool and um yeah they're really really awesome anyways I'm gonna shut up and uh yeah yeah I'll have a good night and I got one more review coming up probably on good old Destro and stay tuned for that if you're interested. All right, later.